Hi everyone, so I thought I'd finally do my what's in my changing bag video. Um, I use two bags. I have this rucksack here. This is my Amazon rucksack from PP Bet. I have this Gem and B Jimama bag. So my go-to mummy on the run, school run bag would be this one. And I'll show you what's inside it. So it comes like this. It's got this pocket here. You've got the side, side pockets. And then you've got this one here. And this is apparently a tissue holder pocket. So it's like a little space to get tissue out. I never do that. I usually just put like Ines drinks bottle or something in there. And then the other side, um, again, anything handy like carry bags or whatever. The back has like a zip where you can slip your phone in. So it's quite hidden, which is always handy. I put my phone or my keys in there. If I start by showing you guys in the front what I put in, it's quite spacious. So it's like that. You've got this sort of knitted area there. And then we've got these little areas here where it's like thermal insulated. So if you've got drinks, like milk bottles or whatever, you pop in there, but obviously I've never used a bottle. I've just been breastfeeding, so I don't need that area. I just use it for other things. Um, I've got reusable bags. Uh, I've got a coconut oil. Um, I use it for like Isla's nappy rashes or whatever. And then I have some gloves. I don't know. I always just think they might come in handy there one day. And then in the front area, I have hand cream, hand sanitizer, a hairbrush. This is Isla's hairbrush, hairband, Isla's hairband. Lip balm, got to have my lip balm on me at all times. Just can't stand dry lips. And then one of these little fastening clips. You get like a pack from Ikea, they're so handy. If I take you guys inside the bag, so it's got the sort of clip fastening thing. I didn't want a zip one. Um, I had a zip one before and I just didn't get along with it. And I thought the clip ones always hold it together well. Um, in this, you've got this zippy bit here. I have not got anything in there at the moment. Usually I keep like, uh, parking ticket or stuff like that in there. Firstly inside, I've got a changing mat. Uh, the bag doesn't come with a changing mat. I just bought this basic one from Amazon. It was like three pound, four pound, can't remember. And then it's got this string bit, which is so handy um, when you're out shopping. Can't find, uh, you know, I can't be rummaging around looking for my bag. Literally pull this out and it's got all my stuff in it. And then at the bottom of the bag, we have this wet bag, um, like wet clothes area. So if you've got like wet, dirty clothes or whatever, um, it's for that area there. But luckily we haven't got that, gone, been there yet. Haven't got that dirty yet. <laughs> this compartment, so we've got like a, like again, we've got like a thermally insulated pocket area. In there, I would just keep my drinks bottle or something because, again, she doesn't have any bottles. And then we have more little pocket areas like this. Um, I have got in there some wipes because you don't know when you're going to come across something extremely dirty. In the next pocket, I have oh, what's this? Some tissues. Some tissues, some German Donna napkin, <laughs> and a um, ooh, got a breastfeeding cover. So that's all I got in that area. And then on the other side, I have some wipes. I use the Fred and Flow by the, the Tesco brand Fred and Flow. Um, only because it's like 60p and it's 99% purified water, fragrance free and alcohol free. And I just found, I go through so many wipes that 
I just need something cheap at the moment. And then I have her nappies. Um, usually I pack in about four, three or four, depending on where I'm going. But if I'm going to my mum's for the day or whatever, I'll pack about four in there and she'll be all right. So in that nappy area, I do keep the nappy bags as well, all in one area. It's just so much more easier. So then, okay. So that was like the inside part of the bag. And then if you pull over this side, you've got like a whole different compartment. But in here, I have her snack bag. That's a must. I've got a vest in it and some spare clothes. And literally, that is it. I really don't keep that much in my bag. I don't want it too heavy, but I do like to be prepared for the worst, just in case, because you never know with kids. You always have to plan ahead. That's the bag. It comes with like the handle as well. So sometimes use that. And then it's got the strap. I'm not really a fan of the strap. Um, and then the back is like this. It has this zip at the back, which also lets you go to the bottom of the bag. It's always handy. And that is literally it. Um, I got this off Amazon. I bought it for about 30 pounds. I just, I got it just before I went off on holiday because I know that I needed something like this that's waterproof and just has so many pockets in it and it's just been so handy. And I think it's quite affordable as well. And I love that it's black with the gold lining. It pretty much matches everything um, I wear and it matches my posture. That's the bag guys. I'll quickly show you my Gem and B, Gem and B bag. I absolutely love this bag. Just look at it. Um, it is a bit more on the pricier side. I think it's about £275. But you know what? I haven't had an expensive bag like this. And I thought, you know what? I deserve it. It's my second child. And I want to get one. I love it. It's real leather. And the quality of it is amazing. It looks amazing. Um... I even use it as a bag for when I'm not with the kids, but it's very rare. I'm hardly ever without the kids. But in here, again, it's the same sort of thing. But I think the one, this one has got a bit more attention to detail as well. Again, it's got lots of pockets and it came with the purse. It came with the little bottle, thermal bottle bag. I never used that. It came with a changing mat, which I'm gutted about because I lost in, I lost it in Ikea. Like one of the first few weeks I bought it, I lost it straight away, I was so gutted. Um, again, it's the same sort of thing. I've got hand cream in like the zippy bit, perfume, hand sanitizer, pen. <laughs> but yeah, I just wanted to show you guys this bag as well. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and it was somewhat helpful, hopefully. Um, if you're a mother-to-be or you've got a toddler or whatever. I mean, Isla's nearly two and this is what I pack in my bag for a two-year-old. She's actually sleeping in the back. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and thank you for watching. Bye!